Hi, I'm Marissa. Um, are you considered a Gen Z or millennial? Is Gen Z better than millennials or is it the other way around? As we know, last year in 2020, a battle had been raging on social media and the stakes were higher than the waistbands of your favorite jeans. Gen Z versus millennials. Every generation has its flaws, but a war between Gen Zers and millennials seems to never end. The Gen Zers took time to sit back and bash the millennials on social media. If each generation took time to reflect on their own flaws, what they could do better, blah, 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 just to get along with the other generations above or below and own up to them, generations wouldn't have to constantly be at battle. Today, I'm going to discuss how Gen Zers attack millennials via TikTok and Twitter, the millennials fight back, and just overall conclusion to the battle and how we can better our generations in the future. Tensions have been simmering for some time now. Millennials have attracted the distaste of Gen Z, who has made their feelings more than clear by slamming millennials' style, hobbies, and general personalities. Millennials have not had it easy, and the Gen Zers are coming for them. In a nutshell, the 90s kids are Harry Potter-loving, quasi-adults who wear skinny jeans, part their hair on the side, pride themselves in adulting, and can't function without their coffee and wine. Oh, and they suck at social media using the laughing crying emoji, which to Gen Zers is uncool. Millennials know they are old. They know they are out of touch with what teens are into nowadays. Older folks, as the insult, have been mainly traded on social media, especially TikTok, a social media platform that, a bit like Boohoo Clothing, which is for like the Gen Z generation and the 2021 generation, blah, blah, blah. And nightclubs with sticky floors isn't somewhere that anyone over the age of 40 should venture. I personally wouldn't like that because I wouldn't see my, want to see my professor, my pastor, my parents anyone like that at a venue like that. According to vice.com, millennials are like old people trying to use social media and trying to fit in with the younger generation. At my mom, she loves to try and fit in with the younger generation. She has TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, any type of social media you can think of. Haiti from Southeast London says, I think they're really caught up in really simple everyday stuff. They make a barbecue and pretend it's the best thing in their whole life. They grow a basic thing like a fruit or a vegetable and they're like, wow, I didn't kill it. They'll spend the whole day fantasizing about it or that fruit or vegetable, that barbecue. My sister grew beetroot and she's really happy about it. I really don't understand. They don't have big ideas because they're already past their expiry date. I know that sounds mean, but it continued. As I scrolled through today as a parent.com, I was reading that Gen Zers said, what Gen, Gen Z sayers said about millennials on Twitter and TikTok. I feel as though you should hear what I saw. One Gier said, Gen Zer said, why do millennials think they're special? Everyone knows what a, VH te a VHS tape is, buddy. Sit down. Another Gen Zer said, why do millennials insist on DMing posts from private meme pages and drinking LaCroix? Finally, I see some millennials tweet back and basically like fight for themselves on social media since they were being bashed on. A millennial by the name of Colleen Bollinger tweets, oh dear God, please do not let low rise jeans come back. Please Gen Z, don't do it. They looked bad when we wore them in the early 2000s, and they look bad now. I'll give you my side part and my skinny jeans. Just don't take my high-waisted jeans, please. Another millennial tweets, Every time I hear about something Gen Z judges us on, I resent it for roughly a half a second before remembering that for years we thought calf-length leggings worn under a distressed denim mini was the pinnacle of cool. According to Junkie.com, this war between Millennials and Gen Z doesn't seem to have an end. Millennials have had enough. Gen Y have turned the tables and have decided to point out all the Gen Zers' worst traits to even out the play field. Gen Zs have an extremely dramatic view on life. They turn everything into an aesthetic to their serious distaste for any 
small children that have ever existed. Generation Z is finally getting a taste of their own medicine. And millennials finally dodged the Gen Zers on Twitter. One millennial says, why does Gen Z lip sync at like 10%? Do you know what I mean? Another not Gen Z making fun of millennials on apps created by millennials. Lastly, Gen Z will be like, something so traumatic happened to me yesterday. And it's like they were in traffic. At the end of the day, every generation has their flaws. For millennials, it could be the skinny jeans and side parts. But at least it's, it isn't eating Tide Pods. Tide Pods. A girl tweets, on TikTok, Gen Z is telling everyone side parts and skinny jeans are out of style. And this girl really just said, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to let the generation who ate Tide Pods dictate where I put my hair or what kind of jeans I wear. Insert crying laughing emoji. Although each of these tweets are funny and also bashing towards the generations, we have to realize each generation has their own flaws. Millennials happen to be side parts and skinny jeans and Harry Potter, while Gen Zers is eating Tide Pods and not knowing the lyrics to songs. Being a Gen Zer myself, I know that there have been times where I have made fun of a millennial, but I can never do so publicly. In the end, millennials and Gen Zers don't hate each other. It was just the point in time where the Gen Zers started bashing the millennials on TikTok. So the feud began. This war is nothing new to anyone, especially because there has always been differences between both generations and other generations in the past. From dbknews.com, Dr. Smead says a quote from Socrates. The children now love luxury. They have bad manners, contempt for authority. They show disrespect for elders and love chatter in place of exercise. Children are now tyrants, not the servants of their households. They no longer rise when elders into the room. They contradict their parents, chatter before company, gobble up dainties at the table, cross their legs, and tyrannize their teachers. While there aren't any TikToks these days complaining about children gobbling up dainties, it's safe to say there will always be a negative view of the younger generations. In a cycle as old as time, we'll always question the kids, whether they're ancient Greek civilians or Charlie D'Amelio doing the renegade in her bedroom. In conclusion, it's taken for granted that each generation will be critical of the people that came before. Never forget the golden rule. Young people prefer to be as an individual first.